Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Gandor Gaming, and we got some brand new support revealed for Atlanteans, Battle Wasp, Gimmick Puppets, Sharks, oh my. So we got some brand new cards revealed. This video is just going to be discussing the brand new Turmoil spell, and also of course the brand new Gimmick Puppet slash uh, Shark Trap card. Both are pretty interesting and both are pretty cool. I think I'm going to make a following video going over the new Battle Wasp support, seeing how the insects are actually going to be good now. Now. And of course, I'm going to be making a video on Atlantean slash Mermails and seeing if the new support pushes them into the meta. I'm really excited to make those videos for y'all today, but those are going to be put on the back burner till later. I'm just getting off work, so you're going to have to bear with me. Anyway, hope you all enjoy. Like and subscribe for more content. Let's get straight into this. So first things first, we have a brand new spell card. This is fire and water support. This is called Turmoil of Sea and Flames. This is a brand new normal spell card and has two really, really powerful effects. The first effect says, hey, you can trash a water from your hand and then, hey, you get to destroy one monster your opponent controls. That's a very powerful effect. Basically saying, hey, you got to destroy a monster your opponent controls and basically you just stop them from doing what they need to do. And because you're trashing the water from hand, if you're playing a deck, let's say like Atlantean, for example, you just get to pop off because, hey, Atlantean Dragoon says, hey, if I'm discarded, you just get to search, which is really, really strong. That's a non once return effect. So you can discard it off this spell card and basically get to remove a monster for free and you get to, of course, add with Dragoons. Now you have to have Dragoons in hand, so it is a two-card combo. But there's plenty of ways to get to that card. And overall, that's just a really, really strong effect. The uh, second effect of this card, which is technically still the first effect because it gives you the option of discarding a water to remove a monster. But the fire option is, hey, you can destroy one fire from your hand. And if you do... Bam, you get to draw a card, which is pretty insane for decks like Fire Kings. Basically saying, hey, destroy whatever fire monster is in your hand, which will probably give you a search off the fire destruction, and then just draw one. That's a really good effect. That's basically engage. That's engage in this card. This is engage for fire decks. Now, it's not searchable like engage. It is once per turn, not like engage. And also, well, it's not, it is generic, but it's not the most generic. Like, for example, the Snake Eyes cards, they can benefit off this, but not as much as, well, every, the other, all the other fire archetypes, like Neptis, for example. This is still a really, really powerful effect, and I can definitely see some play with it. Now, that's just the first effect. Everything I just said to you is the either or option of the first effect. Either discarding a water to remove a monster, or destroying a fire in order to draw one. Let's now talk about the Reborn effect, because this card also is a Reborn. You can just banish this card from your graveyard to this Reborn, I think a level 7 or higher water or fire monster, which is just really powerful and really good. Overall, this card might see some play in Fire Kings and Snake Eyes, and definitely see some play in some Atlantean decks. So, hope you all enjoy. Let's go on to the new Gimmick Puppet Trap. Okay, so now we got a brand new Gimmick Puppet slash Shark Trap card. Gimmick Puppet Shark Style. Uh, this is a normal trap card. I don't think it's any good, but we gotta go over it because it has potential. Uh, basically, this card says, hey, detach a material from any XYZs on the field, and then apply the following effects based on what you excavate. So you excavate the top four cards of your deck, then if it's a monster or spell, you get to add it to your hand, and then if it's a trap, you get to set it onto the field, and you can activate it this turn. So... It does seem pretty awesome. Basically says, hey, you get to escape the four, top four cards of your deck. If it's a trap card, you get to play it onto your field and as rested. And then you guys can activate it at a turn, which is really, really strong. Here's the issue. This is a normal trap card that's having to predict what's on top of your deck that can only activate at a detached material from XYZ on the field. The only deck I can see this being played in is Trap Trick. And even then... They have so many ways to search out their traps, like Reflasia, or just like copy them with Reflasia, that you don't really need this card. I don't know what this card's purpose is. Like, what material are you detaching in order to do this? What trap deck are you thinking of? I, the only thing I can, like I say, I can think of is trap tricks. 
but uh, I really don't know. So you'll have to, all have to tell me. So overall, I think this card isn't great. I think it's cool that it's searchable in Gamma Puppet and Sharks because it mentions both Gamma Puppet and Shark. I think there's too many flaws with it. For one, uh, you gotta control an XYZ to activate this card. Two, it has to escalate the top four cards of your deck in order to then do set effects. So you can completely whiff on hitting a track card and just hit monsters. I mean, cool, you get add a monster to your hand, but you wasted a resource to add during. Is this basically adding during your opponent's turn? Like, I guess you can add a hand trap, I guess, which is kind of cool. But that's really the only benefit I could see from adding a monster or spell to your hand is to be adding, like, let's say, oh, I have Ash on the top of my deck, so I could add Ash to my hand, which is pretty cool, I guess, in that regard. But I don't know. I really don't see where you're activating this card. Like, I guess Trap Tricks. I guess that's the only real deck that can be playing this card. And even then, it's like, is it good enough? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't think Gimmick Puppets is playing this, even though it's searchable in that deck. And I definitely don't think Sharks are playing this. Uh, like, Sharks don't play trap cards, really. Like, yes, they play Gozen, but Gozen's at one now. Are you going to be excavating the top four cards of your deck to hit the one copy of Gozen? I don't think so. Not to mention, this is, stops you from having more level fours in your hand that spam the field of uh, Bahamut Sharks and Totally Awesomes. Like, I really, really am struggling to see what this card's for. I guess that's why it's gimmick, because it's gimmicky. I, don't, I really don't know. But anyway, I hope you all enjoy. I think the spell card is really insane. I think the trap card is a little gimmicky, but hey, maybe trap tricks can use it. And that's really all I got. Uh, expect, again, Atlanteans and, of course, the Battle Wasp video will be coming later on today. Probably when I get off work. And, yeah, thank you all so much for the love and support. Like and subscribe, like I said. And thank you for everything, man. Seriously, you guys mean everything to me. And I just thank you all so much for the love and support. You all have a wonderful day. Don't do anything stupid. See you all next one. And blah, blah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One more thing. One more thing before I go. I will let you know this. This is a little spoiler alert on Rage of the Abyss. I don't think any of the new cards revealed are that... Like, they're, they're, just, they're solid, but sneak peek on you. I think the real card that we got to be looking out for is the brand new Mum Chummy card. I think that card's the real winner of Rage of the Abyss. And maybe the new uh, Saw Morning Trap card. That Those are the two winners of Rage of the Abyss. I think those cards are pretty insane. But overall, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Rage of the Abyss. I think it's a pretty solid set. I think there's some really great cards in it. Especially for uh, lovely, lovely Phoenix Smiths. I mean, their two new supports are really insane. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the Atlanteans and Insects. That's why I'm putting, putting off that video until later. Because I want more time to digest the cards. I think they're solid. But I don't know if they're enough to put them over the edge. So you'll just have to wait till that video to see if I can come up with anything to break them or someone else can. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Don't do anything stupid. See you on the next one. And bye bye